Hi, this is Ms. TechFi, and in this video we're going to be going over how to hotspot and tether your LG Optimus slider and a brief explanation about the differences between hotspot and tethering. To do this first you must root your device. Please see the other video on my channel on how to root your device. Tethering turns your smartphone into an external modem by way of the USB cable allowing for a single device to connect to the smartphone and access the internet. It requires the device connecting to have drivers and an application to use the internet. Benefits to the USB tethering are your phone is getting a charge while tethering. The application we're going to be using is Easy Tether, the free version on the Android market. You can see when I put the check mark on, the Easy Tether is going to be watching for when I put the data cable in. And when not using, go ahead and leave that unchecked. Before actually using, you're going to have to go through the setup. And you're going to choose your operating system. Most of us are going to download to the smartphone onto the micro SD and transfer it onto the device itself, the computer, whatever operating system that you have. Because if you had data on your computer, you wouldn't be doing this in the first place. So, it will take you to a page. You need to know if your computer is 32-bit or 64-bit operating system. So you're going to click whichever one that it is, download it to your micro SD card, and transfer it onto your computer. Let's go ahead and go through setup on the computer. We're at the computer. We're going to do Easy Tether. I have the check mark next to USB on the Easy Tether. The data cable is plugged in to the phone. I've transferred the file off the micro SD card onto the computer. And then you want to take it off of mass storage, off of charge, and leave it for the USB debugging. So let's go ahead and open up the file. And you want to leave Easy Tether Core and the Android USB driver. Install. Install. Install driver anyways. and launch Easy Tether. So it's going to be down there by the clock and you can right click the icon connect via Android and you'll see I have established a network connection. Let's open up a web page I'm just going to click up here. We're going to go to yahoo.com Pages are loading. I'm just going to click on one more just to show you. Just to show you that the internet is coming off the phone through the tether, I'm going to take off the check mark from the USB. And then I'm going to go ahead and you're going to see down here it says connection closed. So just to prove it, I'm going to click on a web page and it should go nowhere. With hotspotting, you can share your phone's internet with more than one device. Some phones can share with up to five devices, like a Wi-Fi router. Securities can be set or left open. Be aware that hotspotting your phone will drain your battery and sharing with more than one device will use more data. I have put in wireless tether for root users off the Android market. And let's go ahead and start it and then super user is going to ask you and you're going to allow. and it's ready. So when you go ahead and shut it off, this is very important, it's going to ask you again and you want to allow. And that's the step that if you don't do that and you hit deny that you're not going to be able to use some of the stuff on your phone after you've shut it off. So let's go ahead and turn it back on. Those permissions are set.
and it's ready and let's go test it on the computer. Okay, so we're going to go over Wi-Fi Tether and I have a USB data card. Let's go ahead and plug that in. So my data card is recognized on the computer. Starting the Tether, the Wi-Fi Tether. Let's close this out. So it started on the phone. I have named the uh, SSID on their slider. If this has worked for you, if this hotspot has worked for you and you try to connect again and you're having trouble, try renaming the SSID and having the device or the computer re-recognize it as a different name. So let's go ahead and connect. So we have established a connection. Web pages are opening. Let's go to msn.com. And, well, let's go to money. Everyone likes money. So web pages are loading. To prove that the internet is coming from the phone, I'm going to go ahead and shut the Wi-Fi tether off on the phone. And I've lost my connection. I'll go ahead and click anywhere. And nothing should come up. If you have denied something that needed to be allowed and you're not able to get onto your 3G or your Wi-Fi after you're done with the tethering or the hotspot, go into the super user and go into the settings and delete them. And then try again. This should help. Please hotspot or tether responsibly and monitor your total data usage in and out through your phone. There are many applications available on the market that will do this. These things are at your own risk. Even if your phone's data plan says unlimited data, there is a thing called fair usage rights that simply means within reasonable use, and you can have your account suspended or terminated. If you're wondering how I stand my phone up, you can look on my channel and there's a little do-it-yourself of how to do a kickstand with a mirror suction cup. 